Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Erwin Sim. Today I have an update on PNL for you and boy what an update that is. We're basically hanging by a thread. Now is the time that the tables turn and we have to see what's in us. Uh, at this point I am torn between two possibilities. I Half of me would say that in two weeks we're bankrupt. And half of me would say that in two weeks we will turn in a profit. I can't, and I'm I'm not fishing for compliments or or trying to hype it up. I still can't say how this is gonna end. Um, let's look at the cash flow. We closed last week uh, with um, you know paying all of these uh, things. We paid one point two. 1.26, actually 1.27 million airlines in dollars. We paid all of this and we closed the week with a loss of half a million, which is a 32% um, margin loss. Uh, it's not as big as the one before, which was 69%. It's actually way higher though than I expected it. And the reason for that is because it was pointed to me at the last video that I forgot to account for um, paying the staff. So uh, this is basically, um, you know, we were we would be in a profit if we wouldn't have to pay the salaries. Well, actually we wouldn't be in a profit, but we would be at 70% thousand debt. Uh, but yeah, the salaries is what is really ruining us. Uh, of course, the leasing installment and everything like that is still ruining us as well. However, it is uh, Wednesday today, and that's three days after um, the week has started, uh, or our financial week has started, and we're already at almost a million. So at the end of this week, we should be somewhere around 2.1 million, if I'm counting correctly. Uh, the question is, will it be enough, you know, uh, I don't. I don't really think. Uh, I think we have like two hundred thousand in reserve cash at this point, so we can do another week and something. I have uh, one through the prices. I updated prices. I canceled some routes. I uh, made changes here. I made changes there. You know, I'm trying to balance it out. Uh, but where the hell are we gonna get that two hundred thousand? I don't know. Uh, However, tiny changes usually amount to big differences. So it might be enough to make this work. Uh, I actually never had it so, you know, with, without, with this little, uh, moving room, you know, with this little poss like a possible place to move to because I, I feel like I'm squeezing and we're, we're really scraping our belly on the runway without our, uh, our wheels, um, pulled out. So we'll, we'll have to see. You know, I, I would really like to tell you guys that, that we're going to do this, but I really don't know. Um, let's look at, at the numbers. Um, uh, where is the fact in the figures here? Uh, we closed the last week with uh, serving 24 airports, which was a 50% um, increase. Uh, our operated flights, 240, you know, compared to 64 in the previous week. Our total revenue was 1.73 million, um, which is a big difference. But mostly revenue per flight, 7,000. 220, which is a 12% increase. At this point, we are at 7,247. So you can see that I'm still making it a bit better. Uh, it's going to go up because I increased the prices where I could. I canceled some, some routes again and testing something else. But, you know, uh, we'll see if that's enough. Seats offered a huge increase. Uh, revenue per passenger though went down for us, which is, which is a bummer. I don't know why. Uh, we dropped to 141 airline sim dollars. I think it's because I'm trying the domestic routes. It might be that thing. However, seed load factor is up. So it's, it's going slightly up. I'm trying to do whatever I can to increase it. So what we need to do in this week is have all, everything has to go up. I don't care about the airport serve, but you know, operated flights will probably go up a bit. Uh, total revenue needs to go up. Uh, we need something like 2.2 million to be safe. Revenue per flight, I would like to see somewhere around 7.5 thousand. 
and we'll need the revenue per passenger to get somewhere to like 160 or 10 dollars. I don't know if that's possible. Uh, I think I played my cards wrong in the beginning. I did too much testing and I shouldn't have taken uh, some of the things that I did. But if we go bankrupt, you know, we might try somewhere else or we might restart it. You know, I'm, I'm having fun trying to manage it in Europe. So I would probably try to find some alternate airport to uh, see what there is to see or maybe try a different, um, try it again uh, with a different smaller points you know i think that um now that i know which routes are uh, profitable and which aren't i think i could pick uh, a number of smaller air points for example uh what could it be well not the jet streams they're awful but you know the the embrace are 145s uh and make these work they would definitely work i think they're uh high well they, they are slightly less uh Slightly less rated, but you know, still could work. Uh, Dorniers maybe two, uh, but they have oh, well, that they actually have a great rating, so we could maybe try to make it work with the Dorniers. How, uh, yeah, these could work, you know, the Dorniers we could make work, or we could go with something like what, well, like the Yak 40. <laughs> Or even the Canada regional jets, they're smaller, you know. So if you want with uh, with the hundreds and two hundreds and the seven hundreds, because the seven hundred is as big as our uh, Embraer, so I should have, you know, probably went lower because we're moving between the eighty and hundred and twenty four range, and these are moving between fifty and seventy eight, which would work for most of our routes way better. No, so uh, I'll leave it to you in case we go bankrupt. Whether I should try again or whether I should um, move somewhere else. But yeah, again, I, as I said, I'm having fun. So so fingers crossed, guys. I'm trying to make this work. So uh, wish me luck, and uh, let's see where we are going to stand at the end of the week.